guys, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. So today we have a ship with me video. I believe I have about 35 items here to ship, which is quite a bit. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So we're going to start off with my one men's closet sale. This is a Lucky Brand 100% linen size large button down long sleeve shirt. Really pretty. It has embroidery on it. I found this at the bins and I picked it up for basically all of those reasons. The embroidery, the fabric. We were going into summertime and linen is my most popular selling fabric in summertime. Really pretty, also size large, which is great. No flaws. And it's actually sold for full price in my men's closet, $35, which was awesome. That made my earnings $28 and my net profit right around $26 on this shirt. So this is a solid example of why I like having a separate closet for my men's items because I really feel like the pieces sell better on their own as opposed to this shirt being added together into a bundle with other stuff from my women's closet and the price of this shirt uh, just getting kind of lost in everything. Um, instead, it sells for a solid $35 over in my men's closet. So I just feel like everything sells way better um, and it's a better use of my time to sell items individually in a men's closet um, in my opinion. Okay next up we have a pair of American Eagle jeans also a bins grab. These are the newer tag which I always like to get. They're a green kind of like an army green color exposed button fly with a wide leg crop. So pretty much anything, any kind of jeans that you find from American Eagle that are the newer tag from them will be trendy, like on trend, because um, American Eagle is a brand that follows trends very well. So I really don't have to think too much about it, especially at the bins when I find newer tag American Eagle. It's almost always a pickup for me as long as it's in excellent condition um, because the trend or style as aspect is usually always there when it comes to newer tag American Eagle. Sometimes there are exceptions though. There's an exception to every rule, but I would say 99% of the time. So I listed these jeans at $30 and Within maybe a month, I would say, of being listed, I got a $25 offer, which I accepted. That made my earnings 20. I paid about two for them, so my net profit was $18. Okay, next up we have a J. Crew really pretty sweater. The body is 100% wool, and then it has a contrast lace collar. This was again a newer tag from J. Crew. It's their cursive writing. So that combined with the more like a finer, more luxurious fabric, merino wool. I did want to get this. Um, and this was actually a full price sale. I listed this and within like 10 minutes of being listed it sold for $35, which was so exciting. My earnings were $28, and my net profit was $27. This was yet another Ben's find. It's very lightweight. This is called the Tippy Sweater, T-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. I think it's one of J. Crew's like classic sweaters. And I did see that the lace trim the at the collar um, Tippy Sweater is more popular for sure. So that might have been why this sold so fast. Someone might have been uh, just waiting for someone to list one on the secondhand market. Um, I think that happens quite a bit. 
Next, we have Anthropology. This is Diletta. And Diletta is an older brand from Anthro. I believe it, it's no longer in production. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. Um, which I do try to kind of stay away from older Anthro stuff. However, I got this top in particular because it was a size large and it had a novelty print to it. It has dandelions, which novelty prints, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know it's uh, kind of a foolproof, that's the word I'm looking for, a foolproof thing that sells novelty. People love you know, flowers, dogs, cats, any kind of animals, um, all very popular. So I listed this top at $32 and I would say within one to two months of being listed, someone liked it. And so I sent them out a $28 offer with discount ship. I do send out the $4.99 discount shipping option if you're curious that was accepted so my earnings were $19.72 and my net profit was $18.72 okay next we have a really pretty scarf I picked this up at the Goodwill outlet in Austin I mainly got it because it's super colorful but it also actually has a novelty print as well it's like a city or building print like a townscape kind of thing um so yeah really artsy and interesting kind of boho and this was yet again a full price sale so very exciting listed for 25 dollars i would say within like two weeks it sold full price for 25 my earnings were 20 and my net profit was 19-ish. This is extremely lightweight. It could have been like $19.50-ish. I'm always kind of conservative when I'm guessing my net profit. Um, but yeah, I do really like picking up lightweight kind of layering items like scarves, uh, wraps, sarongs, um, What's that word that she goes uh, uses? Uh, it's gonna bug me. Um, what is the word? Ruana. <laughs> Ruanas. She goes calls their wraps Ruanas. Um, but yeah, I like picking up any kind of lightweight layering stuff, especially if it has a nice print to it. Um, I think that's kind of a wardrobe staple type item in a lot of people's closets in the summertime. Okay, next, another exciting sale. This is the brand 6397, which is definitely a more obscure, higher-end brand. This blazer retailed for five to $600. It is 100% wool, very minimalist, contemporary kind of vibes here um, and this I found three of these blazers at the bins this was the last to sell I think the first one sold for like 80 the second one sold for like 70 ish and then this one sold for 66 so I'm happy with all of those prices for sure I probably paid like five dollars for all of them together so I mean I could not be happier with my return um, and I mean it is a win-win because like I said the retail price on this is like $500 and it looks brand new so all in the buyers at like 75 I think that's a pretty good deal my earnings were $52.80 and my net profit was $50 on this blazer it's just amazing quality you can really feel the difference um, between like a $50 blazer and a $500 blazer, I would say. Next, we have Bryn Walker. 100% linen long line tunic in this really pretty mustard yellow color. You guys know this is my color. 
I was so excited to find this um, in a bin with tons and tons of lag and look styles and brands and it's all been selling so well for me which I knew that it would lag and look is one of my best selling style categories if you're confused what I'm talking about when I say lag and look I would highly suggest you guys go check out one of my last haul videos that's entitled 50 pound Houston Goodwill outlet haul I talk all about what it means to be lag and look style um, and I just thoroughly kind of discuss it and go over it and there are many examples of what it is because I found a ton of it shopping that day. Okay, let me replace my tape really quick here. I do have this tape dispenser linked down below. You guys have been asking me about it. It's a double dispenser, so it dispenses not only scotch tape, but also packing tape. So it's all in one place and you don't have to fiddle with the plastic tape dispensers, which believe it or not, that does take up a lot of time, especially when you're doing something repetitively. Um, not having to fiddle with that really does save time and in turn save money <laughs> because time is money. Okay, so for this Bryn Walker tunic, I listed it at $50. I would say within three weeks to a month, I received an offer of 38, which I did accept. That made my earnings $30.40 and my net profit right around 29-ish on that. Okay, next we have a bulky item. So I'm going to grab my box number seven. This is free from the USPS. You can go online, order this, as well as any of the other boxes that I ship with. I have a list in the description of all the boxes I order from USPS. Also all of my shipping supplies. So next up is this INC International Concepts Faux Fur poncho sweater piece and this is gorgeous um, it's actually really nice if you are wearing it I'm not sure if it's showing but on the inside there's a kangaroo pocket in the lining so um, you know if it's really chilly out you can just stick your hands in that kangaroo pocket in the lining of your poncho so that's really thoughtful so this poncho i listed at 38 i was expecting around 30 ish from it when i picked it up um, i ended up getting an offer of 20 and we countered back and forth several times and landed on 22 which is lower than i would have liked for this but i just figured with us being in the beginning of summertime I just wanted to move it out, honestly. Um, I don't like bulky stuff staying in my inventory for a long time. It takes up space. So I accepted a $22 counter. My earnings were $17.60 and my net profit was around $15 on this poncho. So I'm happy with that. This didn't take me long to photograph or list. I don't really take measurements for ponchos just because there's no real clear-cut seams so you know I don't spend time taking measurements I literally just throw it on my mannequin snap a couple pictures um, so I'm happy with that okay next up we have a Johnny was blouse top so pretty it has eyelet details and embroidery the brand tag was actually cut out of this at the neck I think because it's sheer and so, you know, you could see the tag when you're wearing it if it wasn't cut out. And so, um, someone had very clearly thrown this back at the bins. I think they picked it up and then, you know, they saw that it had no brand tag, so they just went ahead and threw it back. And then I swept in and for sure still bought it. I could tell, you know, 100% it was a Johnny Was piece, and the RN number on the inside tag 
did confirm that just to make absolute sure. And so yeah, I listed at 40. I would say within two weeks, I got a $30 offer, which I did count counter to 32 just because I wanted to make back around 25 ish on this. And yeah, that's exactly what happened. My net earnings were $24 and 60 or my net profit on this was $24 and 60 cents. So I'm happy with that. And that just shows you, you know, just because someone's throwing something back doesn't mean that it's worthless. I would say look through everything. Okay, next up we have Maeve by Anthropology. Really pretty skirt. It has like a geometric pattern and then kind of an interesting bottom hem. I actually found this, I would say maybe two years ago now at the Austin Goodwill outlet. So I have had it listed that long and it has sat. I'm not sure why. It's so cute. I have recently been on a mission to relist my older items. I don't know why I haven't been relisting sooner because so much stuff has been selling from relisting. So it's very obvious that you know, these listings just needed fresh eyes to sell. So I am a huge advocate of relisting your old stuff. If you relist re items that are older than 60 days, if you do the edit listing, copy listing, and then list that, it will go into the just in category, which means that, you know, it will go out to everyone's news feeds. But I believe if the item was listed less than 60 days before, it will not go into the just in category. Um, so you do want to be mindful of that. I have only been listing stuff that's been 60 days and older. And I mean, it's been selling so well. So that's exciting. That skirt I listed at, I relisted at $25 and I got an offer of 20, which I just took and ran with. <laughs> that made my earnings 16 and my net profit 15. Okay, next up, another exciting sale. This is a kind of boho Western vest. It has lots of fringe on it with a paisley print in the background and then little concho details at the bottom hem. I was a little hesitant about picking this up initially just because it has no brand tag and um, I really didn't know what it was about at all. Uh, but you know, I'm not sure why I was so worried because the style is for sure there and it does seem to be pretty good quality. It's like a really nice thick denim. So I listed it at $35 and I would say within a month, maybe a month and a half, I got a, or it sold for full price. Yeah. Full price, $35. Very exciting. My earnings were 28 and my net profit was $26. I did add a lot of keywords to this, like boho, rodeo. Um, it's going to Tennessee, so that's cool. I like that. That kind of fits the vibe there. I would say Western stuff is for sure kind of making a comeback. I don't think it ever really left, but it does seem like it's very popular recently. Next, this is a Bowden jacket. This is so pretty. This is called the, I think like the 1950s jacket is what Bowden calls it. Or maybe that's just what everyone was saying uh, in their listings. But anyways, 1950s jacket, retro, those were all keywords that I added. It's so well made. The shell is wool and it's fully lined. It's kind of hard to, there we go. With these gorgeous 3D floral applique buttons. I said in the thrift haul that this reminds me of Kate Middleton for sure. It is really a pretty, pretty jacket. Um, and I was thinking this might sit for a little bit because 
you know, obviously we are not in cold weather anymore. Um, but it sold within maybe like three days of being listed. I listed it at 75 and I got an offer for 60, which I went ahead and accepted. It might have sold faster, maybe within like a day of being listed. My earnings on it were 48 and my net profit was $46. This was something else that was at the bins. It was still on its hanger. It was just like on top of the bins, slayed out. No one wanted it for whatever reason. I have no idea why. And I walked up to it for sure, threw it into my bag. Um, and I was really excited about it. So I would say anything that has kind of like a retro look or any type of just really quirky, almost like vintage looking style sells very, very well, especially from brands like Bowdoin, Anthropology. Um, those are the two I can think of right now. But yeah, retro look, also very in. We have Western and retro so far. Okay, moving on, we have a romper from Free People. This had no brand tag, and I looked forever to try to find, it has a lint. Okay, I looked forever to try to find the stock name, style name of this and stock photos, because it does have the interior tag with the RN number and it looks exactly like a free people tag. I even posted it on my reseller Instagram trying to see if anyone had seen it before and I could I never came up with the style name for it which is kind of rare for me. So it might have been an anthropology or urban outfitters romper but I'm pretty sure it was free people. Anyways free people beach. But anyways, I listed it at 30. I just explained all that in the listing. You know, I has no brand tag, but I'm pretty sure it's Free People Beach. Um, I listed it at 30 and I got an offer of 25. I would say within two weeks of being listed, which I accepted, my earnings were 20 and my net profit was $18. So I'm happy with that for a kind of brandless romper. It's super cute though. It has like exposed seams and that like tan color has been really trendy with like, you know, Kanye West's stuff and the Kardashians. Any hue of brown color has been really trendy for like clothes and loungewear. Okay, next up a sweatshirt. Speaking of loungewear, this is All Saints. It's just a heathered gray body and then the sleeves have like a graphic floral kind of botanical print to them. This I found on Dollar Day at my family thrift center outlet. So I was pretty excited. All Saints does sell well for me. I listed this at 35 and within Let's say two or three weeks of being listed, I got a $28 offer, which I accepted. My earnings were $22.40, and my net profit was $21.40. All Saints, uh, I would say it kind of takes a special piece for it to sell really well, like something newer with a really nice fabric content like cashmere. Um, I've sold a lot of men's All Saints items and they sell really well. Um, I think men, a lot of men like All Saints and Rag and Bone brand stuff. Okay, moving on, a bundle. First off is this pair of Anthropology Linen Blend seersucker shorts. These are precious. They have a high waist to them with an oversized tortoiseshell button closure. 
perfect summer shorts. I got these at the Austin Goodwill outlet. I was there a couple weekends ago now. We were visiting some friends and I had to stop in. I do have that haul filmed as well. I found some really good stuff. And second and last item in the bundle are these Dolce Vita stacked heel like mules with a pinstripe ribbon lace up upper. Grab my 1095 box. So for the bundle of these two, when they were added together, the bundle price came out to $80 and the buyer offered me 50, which I did accept because these were both bins finds. I did, you know, not pay much for them. Um, so I was happy with an offer of 50. That made my earnings 40. And my net profit right around $37 on this bundle. Okay, moving on. We have, oh, a pair of shoes. More shoes. These are free people. They are the Lost Valley boots. They're like a spliced, sliced booty. I think these are called a shooty because they're a cross between just kind of a regular shoe and a booty. So for these shooties, I listed them at 58. Someone liked the listing and so I sent them out a $52 offer with discount ship. That was accepted and so my uh, earnings were $38.92 and my net profit was $36.92. That's pretty good. Um, I picked these up at my Family Thrift Center outlet for $2. I was very happy to see them on the rack. Um, I think this is a very popular Free People shoe style, the Lost Valley shoes. So I would keep my eye out for it for sure. Okay, next up we have a four item bundle. Our first piece is this dress. I just got this at the bins. It's a tiered baby doll kind of cut with a floral print. Really pretty sleeves. V-neck, fully lined. The brand is Peach Love California, which I think is just like a boutique kind of thing. But it was a size large, excellent condition, and I found two of them of the exact same dress. Uh, so I got them both, and it was really easy to list. Um, I always like finding multiple quantities because, you know, it's like a free listing that I don't have to do work for. I just copy and paste everything. Second item is this graphic t-shirt, The Breakfast Club. Really cute. I always get graphic t-shirts, usually, if they're in good condition. And, you know, the graphic is um, pretty popular and well-known and whatnot. And last clothing item for the bundle is this pair of kittenish, which this is someone's clothing line. Jesse J, I want to say. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's Jesse J's clothing line, size extra large. Um, they're a paper bag, waist, striped pant, really cute. Very lightweight. Got these at the bins. Probably paid a dollar for them. So I will wrap the clothing together. And you can see all three of these pieces sold based on style alone, really. Um, well, maybe not. Maybe people are actively searching for whoever's clothing line those pants are, but that's why I picked them up, was just based on style, pretty much everything. So that just kind of shows you style sells. Not everyone is looking for amazing brands. And our last um, item in this bundle is this really cute pair of Steve Madden platform 
espadrille sandals. They have a black suede upper, really pretty. I sell a lot of Steve Madden sandals in the summertime. They just sell really well for me. And then in the wintertime, I sell a lot of Steve Madden boots. So it is my most consistent shoe selling brand by far. So for these four items, when all added together, the bundle price came out to $102. And the buyer offered me 90, which I did accept. That made my earnings 72. I paid around $6 for everything. And so my net profit was $66 on this bundle. I'm running out of room here. Next, we have a J. Jill top. This is pretty plain, but it was new with tags. It retailed for around 70 ish, and it's a really nice, kind of textured cotton material. So, you know, it's natural, it's earthy, and it does kind of cross a lot of style categories boho, minimalist, contemporary, beachy, you could wear this to the beach. It's just a really, you know, high quality kind of basic shirt. So I listed this at 32 and same day of being listed, I got an offer for 20, which I, we countered back and forth several times and my lowest was 25. So every time she countered, I just stayed at 25 mainly because I had just listed it. So, you know, if it had been a month or so, that would have been a different story. But I stayed firm at 25 because I had only listed it like the hour before. And she did end up accepting that, which made my earnings 20 and my net profit $18 on this shirt. So don't overlook, you know, some of those brands that people know and love and are searching for. Next up we have two Eileen Fisher sweaters. They are both linen blend. This one is a really pretty kind of magenta color in a size extra large. I do hang up any kind of fine knits on my padded hangers just so that it doesn't stretch their shoulders or anything. And second and last, let me double check. This is the right sweater. I actually, our next sale is a very similar gray Eileen Fisher sweater. So I just want to double check that this is, yes, this is the correct one. So yeah, linen blend, or this might be a 100% linen um, sweater. Very beachy, very boho. I found all of these together. I found like four linen Eileen Fisher sweaters. I was so excited. Um, not all Eileen Fisher sells well, but you know, linen, cashmere, alpaca, merino wool, the good fabrics sell very well. I mean, one of these sweaters probably retailed for close to 200, I would guess. So yeah, the buyer bundled the two and I sent her out an offer of $75 with discount ship, which she did accept. So that made my earnings $58.28. I paid $2 a piece. And so my net profit was $54 on this bundle using my 1092 box here. Okay, next is the other Eileen Fisher gray linen blend sweater. This one is in a size large, really pretty. Um, and they all looked like brand new condition. The, so yeah, I had the last two and then this one, and then there was one more, it was like a black and white. That one sold like same day of being listed. And these other three took maybe like three days longer. So yeah, if you find any linen Eileen Fisher sweaters, especially in size large, extra large, or plus size, they will most likely sell very quickly. Um, 
because of this time of year and their qualities. So I listed this sweater at $45. I got an offer of $38, which I went ahead and accepted. That made my earnings $30.40 and my net profit $28.40. Okay, now we have a pair of boots. Grab another large box. These are Fry Boots, the Melissa boot. Really pretty like cognac leather. I have a piece of paper already in the box. So I'm just going to add one boot and then add another piece of paper and add the other boot, and there we go. And then I will add in a thank you sticker and seal it up. So I listed these fry boots at $85 and they did take a while to sell. I would say like three months. I got an offer of 70, which I accepted. My earnings were 56 and my net profit was $54 on those. So very happy with that return. Moving on, we have a dress from Abercrombie and Fitch. This is a denim chambray dress with a, it's like an off center tortoise shell button down design. Really cute. The stock photo for this um, made it look so flattering. I almost kind of wish I would have kept it, but it's fine. I have a lot of dresses. So I listed this at $35, I think yesterday, maybe two days ago. Within a day of being listed, it might have been the same day actually, I'm not sure. The Everything runs together for me, but within just a day or two of being listed, I got a $27 offer which I accepted. I would guess this retail for around 80-ish. Abercrombie and Fitch is not cheap. Um, and the clothing has been having a comeback. A lot of people have been really liking their jeans. They do a lot of the like 90s style Y2K stuff. Um, so yeah, I accepted a $27 offer. My earnings were $21.60 and my net profit was right at $20 for this dress. Okay, moving on. A bundle of two very cute pieces. They are both tie-dye. I think they're both 3X. Um, this one is like a dress, long line dress, in a really soft stretch jersey knit material, rayon and spandex. It has some slouchy pockets. This is so cute to um, throw on a beach hat with and some sandals, be out and about. This one is the same kind of thing, but it's a like tunic top. These are both so soft and comfy. This one is the brand Addy P, which I've never heard of. But yeah, I could not leave these behind. I always like picking up really wearable pieces. So yeah. And the buyer bundled the two. The bundle price came out to 56 and she sent me a $40 offer, which was definitely fair. I was super happy with that. I accepted, my earnings were 32. I paid $2 a piece and so my net profit was $28 for this bundle. So very happy with that. Okay, moving on. A pair of linen overalls. These are really cute. The brand is Nicole Miller New York. I don't really ever get that brand, but these are 100% linen. They're in a jumpsuit overalls cut. Um, really cool, kind of earthy, very boho. They kind of fall into the lag and look style as well seeing one loose thread here and I feel like the buttons are really cool I always like when brands 
add in a lot of small details, like when they, you know, add really cool buttons. These are like a coconut kind of thing, coconut button. So I listed these at 40 within, again, a day or two of being listed. I got an offer of 30, which I accepted. My earnings were 24 and my net profit was $22. The last bundle, the two tie-dye pieces, those also sold extremely quickly. So that was great. I've been having a lot of quick sales. This month, this is June, I have been trying my hardest to list 20 items per day. And I'm pretty much all caught up. So, yeah, I'm going to see how that goes. I typically don't do that. I typically bulk list like twice a week. 40 to 50 items, but I'm trying to be more consistent and just list steadily throughout the week. It's kind of hard with filming, you know, getting everything. There's only so much, so many hours in a day, but I have been able to do it so far. So hopefully that continues. We are going on vacation, so probably not. Um, okay, next, a four item bundle. First off is this dress, really pretty. I hadn't heard of the brand, it's Storia. Um, some of their stuff it seems like can sell pretty well, maybe like around the $50 range. Um, I think it depends on how substantial the piece is. I mainly got this because I thought it was super cute with the tiered ruffle designs, kind of like a baby doll look. I feel like I folded this terribly also has a floral print it's fully lined so yeah that's the first piece then we have this pair of altered state pants very beachy and boho they're like a wide leg with a split in the middle down the leg and then a tie with tassels they zip in back and they are lined to the shorts area so that's nice Third piece is this gap ruffle trim tie front blouse. This is pretty plain, but I have been getting any and all chambray tops that I've been seeing from Gap because they sell well for me. Um, it was kind of an experimental thing at first, but every single one that I picked up has sold relatively quickly. So. I will continue to pick them up. All of these items so far sold within a week or two of being listed. The shoes, which complete the bundle, they are Paul Green and I have had them, I would say like six months now, six to nine months. Um, so a little bit slower, but that's okay. So we have the clothes and then Lastly is this pair of Paul Green all over leather sandals with little heel heeled sandals. Okay, so when everything was added together, the bundle price came out to $102 and someone offered me $75, which I did counter to $85 just because all of the clothing had been very newly listed. And they did accept that, which was awesome. So that made my earnings $68. I paid six for everything. And so my net profit was $62 on this bundle, which I'm happy with. I would say it's definitely a win-win. These are all very adorable summer pieces. And I hope the buyer loves them, wears them often. Okay, our very last sale for today is a hat. Keeping with the theme, we have a beach hat to ship. And I think this might be... if this is too small for this box. You know what, I am going to package this in a larger box. This box is too small. So I'll do that off camera, but just to show you guys, this is the hat, really cute beach hat. 
I listed it at 28. I got an offer after a few days of 16, which I countered to 22. They countered back to 20, and so I did accept that. My earnings were 16, and my net profit was $15. So I will get this packaged up in a different box off camera. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, please feel free to leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys soon. Bye, y'all.